Hi, Sarah Banas here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to show you today how to feather the edges of an image um, for sublimation. You could also use it for print then cut projects, um, but this is a super easy thing to do. So what you're gonna wanna do, um, I'm gonna link everything in the description that I use here. So this is the image I'm gonna use, but you can use any image. So it could be a picture of your kids, it could be anything that you're trying to sublimate or like I said, print then cut any image. Um, so let's get rid of some of this extra stuff. Before we go any further, a couple of things. If this video is of help to you, like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos probably once a week or so. Um, just lots of neat ways to make better use of your Cricut and learning how to design for yourself. So like the video, but subscribe, and then you'll get a notification when the new videos come out. Also join me on Facebook. We have tons of huge groups. Um, I'll link you to Cricut for Beginners. It's not just beginners. Um, it's every, every stage of learner in the Cricut uh, industry. And we have probably maybe 450,000 members at this point. Super friendly, super helpful, great group. Come join us there. I'll, I'll link that in the description. So let's get started here. Uh, the first thing that we're going to need, we're going to upload, I've already uploaded it, but this right here. So you can see that there are several shapes in this that's just a couple of them, but there's a ton of shapes in the, um, oops, what did I do there? So I'm gonna select that and, oops, that's why I had to canvas. Um, there's a ton of shapes in the, uh, in this, in this particular uh, set. So I will link this in the description. I think that, I don't know, maybe 10, something like that. Um, I'll link this, just this, particular one in the description that I'm using here. This is a really good one. So what you're going to want to do, let's get rid of this. We actually don't need that on the screen. You're going to upload that and then you're going to take your image and what you're going to do is you're going to make a shape that is larger than your image. Okay, so I'm going to upload that or I'm going to insert that. I'm going to unlock it. You saw that? And then you're going to make this larger than, but not by a ton. You want it to be close to your shape, but covering the whole thing. There you go. Okay. And then you're going to take this. You're going to want to make sure you see, see how that's behind. Right click, send a front. over here. You're going to want this to be smaller than, but close to the size of your shape. So then select both and see how both of these are selected here, the layers panel, and then bottom right slice. Okay, this might take a minute. It is quite a bit of information for it to process. Okay, so now you can get rid of that. And this is the part that you want to keep. You want to keep your that. So you can get rid of that. And now, I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it. And now just take this and put that on there where you want it. So if you, if you were to make this even bigger, that would actually probably be a little bit better because then you can move it around and find the exact spot on your image that you want. I actually made that just a little too big. There we go. Okay, so anyways, so that's what I want. And now I'm going to select both. And again, bottom right, slice. Give it a moment to slice. Okay, and that's literally all there is to it. So there you go. So now you can take this and you can 
you know, layer text on top of it to make your design, um, anything you want to do. So, and then you print it and that's all there is to it. Super easy. Um, it just gives you an opportunity to take your squared images that just, you know, look kind of blah and just kind of add some spice to them. Okay. That's it. Um, I'll link everything in the description. I'll link these, these leaves are actually super pretty. I really like that. Um, so I'll link everything in the description that I used. I'll link the Facebook group. Make sure you join us on Facebook. Fantastic group. You'll fit right in. Um, tons of inspiration there. And I give away files pretty regularly that I make. Um, just a really good group. But also, like I said, like the video and subscribe now. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.